Restoration Perspective provides television programs that encourage, edify, educate, and inform. i sestre na početku ovog misnog slavlja sada priznamo svoje grijehe da mogemo proslaviti ova sveta od tajstva ispobjedam se Bogu sve mogućemu i vama braće i sestre da sam riječi vrlo malo mišlju riječi bjelom i prostom moj grijeh, moj grijeh moj grijeh najvažnije je je blago dar vjere što smo dobili od gospodina. Bog mi je podario da vjerujem i da mogu svoj pogled izdići iznad ove zemlje. Usmjerno me, on me usmjerio prema vječnosti, prema nebesima, a ne u ovoj zemlji. Dar je to koji treba njegovati. I taj dar koji nam dao gospodin nije samo za nas, nego taj dar treba širiti cijelom svijetu. I nadalje Božja riječ, silno je blago koje na je on povjerao i povjereno u naše ruke kao sveta Biblija. Bog nas živom riječju upučuje i upominje on nas ispravlja i usmjerava. Tu je i crkva, živo tijelo Hristovo, sakramenat našeg spasenja. koji je odrastao u Milwaukee-u i koji je duša ove zajednice, ove male hrvatske zajednice, Tom Kuzmanović će nam se obratiti s nekoliko riječi. We have shown it in many ways, politically, financially. We've had at least one person from this community who put his life on the line to fight for Croatia when it counted. We've also had many people move to Croatia, work in Washington, D.C., work in Croatia, uh, for Croatia, on behalf of our people in The Hague who are currently uh, either indicted or in trial. And these are young people that have done this, and oftentimes at great personal cost. 
to them and their families. Those sacrifices are appreciated uh, by those who have done the work, especially uh, those who care about their families and who care about Croatia. When this radio program started, Schlitz was a beer that made Milwaukee famous. It is no more. The Braves were winning their first uh, world championship uh, here in Milwaukee. They are no more, at least not as Milwaukee Braves. And this was a hub of heavy industry. Most of you had nothing to your name. You had just moved to the States. You had just gotten your first jobs or your first homes. You were in debt over your heads. Uh, you were pining for Croatia, but you're planning for America because Croatia was occupied. And yet what happened? You were able to overcome the handicaps that were here. You were able to maintain your morale. And that was due to two factors. The Catholic Church and our priests, like Father Bedenikovic, who kept up your faith, and radio programs who kept up your national morale, that kept up the communication between the various families, between uh, groups that were spread throughout this city and maybe throughout this state. So we have a lot to thank for this program, and not just this program, but every Croatian radio program that kept the word Croatia on the air, that kept the idea of a free Croatia on the air. And I want to thank the people that kept this radio program going for these almost 50 years, 46 years, because they are part and parcel of the fact that we have a free and independent Croatia today. They are part and parcel of the fact that whatever happens with President Tudjman, they are part of that firm foundation that we will not allow our country to go back into any sort of semi-slavery or complete slavery. We will insist and we will have our voice broadcast that we must remain free and independent and sovereign. No matter the will of the European Union, no matter the will of the United Nations, no matter the will of the United States. I am Ante Babic, President of the Croatian Radio Sata in the city of Milwaukee. With us is our secret secretary, Sanja Bodanović-Janković. Our program in Milwaukee is to da vršimo tradiciju hrvatske promježbe u mislim u seljeništvu tako da naša zajednica ima komunikaciju na našem jeziku kojega mislim mi ne želimo nikada zaboraviti i također sa tizim komunikacijom mi se upoznajemo sa domovinskim vijestima na komunikaciju dobivamo iz novina, iz tiska iz ostalih stvari koje recimo se čitaju i tako dalje ja baš nisam najbolji predstavnik za ono što se događa ovdje u radio klubu jer sam ovdje vrlo kratko vrijeme od 1991. godine. Radio klub u Milwaukee djeluje već 46 godina zvanično, a djelovao je i prije toga u puno težim vremenima i tu, tu je bilo jako puno zaslužnih ljudi, puno zaslužnih nego što smo mi i puno koji su puno više doprinosa dali za cijeli razvoj ovog kluba. Po mom dolasku 1991. upravo je počeo objesniti rat u Hrvatskoj, tako da smo se svi nekako skupili i cijela zajednica u Milwaukee, ne samo radio klub koji je tu odigrao svoju ulogu na zbližavanju ljudi, na pozivanju ljudi u humanitarne akcije, pozivanju ljudi da daju svoj doprinos obrani Hrvatske, nego to nije, to nije bio samo radio klub koji se uključio u to, nego i sve druge naše organizacije u Milwaukee.